in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brothers and sisters welcome to this program everyday walk with our lady today 29th of march we specially commemorate the apparition of our lady to saint bonnet it took place in the 7th century and there is an abbot orsini as we saw yesterday he is a abbot who gives us many of the informations about such apparitions of our lady which is not globally known and here about this apparition he writes like this apparition of our lady to saint bonnet bishop of clermont whom she ordered to same as one night when he had remained in the church to pray the saint leaning against a pillar as if to hide himself the stone became soft and made the place for him which it seemed to be to this day but the blessed virgin having obliged him to officiate the ceremony being finished she left him the chasuble which had been brought him by angels to celebrate in the heavenly present is still to be seen at clermont where it is preserved with great care now these are the words which you read now are the words of abbot corsini and when he says that this chasuble used for that mass is still preserved it is not speaking of the present day but he was speaking of his his own days when he was writing this now it is no more, no more there we will see it later so the event took place like this this saint bonnet he was the bishop of clermont for 10 years he was known to be greatly devoted to the blessed devotion mary and he had the very pious practice of praying in the church alone till late in the night and it is said he has seen our lady several times during his such personal prayer in the church at night and then <clears throat> one night as he was praying of course at night as usual he heard a beautiful melodious heavenly song and as he looked he saw a great host of angels coming in procession and this procession at the end of this behind this in this were standing in queue in 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 a procession the saints of the past and behind all this was our lady seated on a throne carried by the seraphim so this was a great solemn procession of our lady to this particular church and when the procession reached the main altar this our saint bonnet heard someone asking who will say the mass and then there came the reply from our lady she pointed to this saint bonitus and our lady said here is bonitus my faithful servant and excellent bishop he is worthy of fulfilling this holy function see how he was appreciated by our lady an excellent person who is worthy to fulfill this holy function that is what our lady had to say about bishop bonitus and then some of the blessed saints who were in the procession near to our lady came forward came out of this procession line came to this saint bonitus and lifted him up 
by his hands. He was almost trembling with, with awe and fear. But they, these saints, led him by his hands to the altar, main altar. And there he was helped to dress for the Eucharistic sacrifice. And the special thing was that Our Lady has had very specially brought a very beautiful, excellent chasuble for Saint Bonnet, Saint Bonnet, and he was dressed in that chasuble. He said mass, and at the end of the mass, he was again left alone in the church. All the others departed, but this chasuble was left with him as a memory and as a gift from heaven to the excellent service he was doing to the church for his prayerful life, for his holy life. And it is about this that he was saying it was still preserved, that is, uh, uh, Abbot Orsini was saying that it was still to be seen in the church, but now it is not. It happened like this. During the French Revolution, the revolutionaries destroyed this church and destroyed everything that was there. And that, filo- that church was so much rich with very excellent, exquisite relics. And all those were burned and destroyed. And this most beautiful chasuble too was burned by these insurrectionists of the French Revolution. So the French Revolution has done a great harm to the church. A very great harm. So many churches were destroyed. So many beautiful, beautiful remnants of devotions were destroyed. So many relics were destroyed. So many such precious gifts as the chasuble from heaven was burned. In here, for us to remember on this occasion is this. Our Lady's appreciation for the holy life of this Bishop Bonnet. Bonnet. She was so much in praise of him. And says, he is really a worthy man for this sublime service of offering this Mass. Let us remember when we go to offer the Mass, will Our Lady be able to say happily about us, he is a worthy man, he is a worthy woman to celebrate this Eucharistic liturgy. Remember, the whole congregation, the people and the priest, together are offering the Eucharistic uh, sacrifice. The priest, as a sharing in the ministerial priesthood, and the laity sharing in the royal priesthood of Christ. Any of all are sharing in the priesthood and offering the same mass with the same equal participation, so to say. Well, the ministerial priests have only uh, do the only special service of guiding and directing and uh, the, doing the the actions of the liturgical actions. So we are all together offering the Eucharistic liturgy, the Eucharistic sacrifice, and everyone has to be worthy of this great sacrifice. And Our Lady is pleased with those who understand seriously the greatness, the holiness of the acts that you are doing. And those who prepare themselves worthily for this. And those who every day become more and more worthy of this great act. Let us ask Our Lady that we may get, get this grace of becoming more and more worthy for this holy service. Let us pray the blessing of Our Lady and the help of Our Lady that we will be more and more. We will become more and more worthy of this great call to our priesthood, sharing of the priesthood of Christ. May the blessing of Our Lady and together with her, at her request, let us ask the blessing of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.